There are now almost 7,700 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Maryland. More than 200 people have died. Hello again, I'm Rachel Cardin. Coronavirus cases on the rise here at home, and according to health officials, we still haven't hit the peak of this pandemic yet in Maryland. WJZ is live tonight. Stetson Moore, Stetson Miller has more on those numbers for us. Rachel, the latest data released this morning shows a nearly 10% increase in COVID-19 cases in just the last day. And a lot of these cases have been in Prince George's County, and that's where a new executive order was issued today requiring face masks to be worn in certain areas. Coronavirus cases are continuing to rise in Maryland. The state health department reports that nearly 7,700 people have tested positive for the virus and 206 have died from it. With the growing numbers, Governor Hogan is urging Marylanders not to go out this holiday weekend. It is currently unsafe to have church services or to host holiday gatherings. 726 new cases have been reported in the state since Friday. Baltimore County now has more than a thousand cases and Baltimore City reported 756. The city recently opened up a testing site at the Pimlico Racecourse, one of the city's hardest hit areas. Prince George's County has seen the most cases with nearly 2,000 reported and 50 deaths. Among the latest victims, Lonnie Jordan, a 27 year old grocery store clerk who worked at the Giant in Largo. Her mother recounts the day it happened. When they got her, she had 104 fever and they put her in isolation and she said, she called me, she says, mommy. I can barely breathe. Prince George's County Executive Angela also Brooks announced an executive order today requiring anyone shopping at grocery stores, pharmacies, and large chain retail businesses to wear face masks or face coverings. The order also applies to the county's bus system. Again, we're talking about our loved ones, our neighbors, our family members, our friends, and so this fight has become so personal to us. And that executive order takes effect on Wednesday, and those stores will still be required to promote social distancing. Live in Pimlico, Stetson Miller for WJZ.